Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards, and today I am coming on to do a Peachy Keen digital stamp release. Um, today, Kathy Jakopovich, hello Kathy, is releasing some beautiful digital gingerbread stamps in her shop. Um, she has so many beautiful things, um, and I'm so happy Peachy Keen is back selling stamps and digital products again. Um, so you can go over to Peachy Keen Stamps. I will link the shop down below. And I thought I would start by introducing uh, the four uh, stamps that I worked with today that are part of this release. Um, this first one is called Mary, and I wrote the name of the stamp right up here in the right-hand corner. So this is Mary, and Mary has two little gingers peeking out of her apron pocket. She's so cute, just adorable. This is Sabrina, and Sabrina has beautiful frosting hair, and she's hugging a sweet little ginger. Just adorable. Oh my gosh, these just make me so happy. Here's a little boy named Al, and Al is licking a spatula full of frosting or batter. And he's just adorable too. And then here is Lori, and Lori is licking the beaters. She's a woman after my own heart. And so she's got two beaters, and her tongue is out there trying to pull that frosting into her mouth. And she's just adorable. So these four images are available digitally. Um, we're not sure yet if they're going to be released as stamps. It'll just depend. Um, uh, it, you know, and it could be that they'll come out as stamps at a later date, possibly. But right now they're being released as digitals. We'll see what the response is. Um, so th I thought I would start there so that those of you that want to hop off and leave the video so you can go take a look at the shop can do so and you can see um, you know what they look like before you go over there. Uh, so those are the stamps. Um, and then I thought I would jump in and just show some of the products I use to create what I'm going to show you today. Um, I use this uh, Dollar Tree lace. I use this spool of uh, uh, a red and um, beige hemp twine. Uh, and this was just a clearance item that I got, uh, and I used that. I used several different sets of dies. I used this one from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's an oval set. I used this open scallop die set from Lifestyle Crafts. This is a very old die. It's retired, very difficult to find. Um, I used this Cat Scrappiness oval set. And then I used uh, some stitched uh, rectangle dies and scallop dies. So, um, those are all the dies that I used. And then I did use some LOTV Digi Shop on Etsy. I used some of their tags, um, or one tag. I haven't done sentiments on all of these yet. It, it got too late tonight. Um, I'm filming this on Thursday night for Friday morning. Um, so I just did the best I could to show you, just to give you something to look at for the release. And then this is the, uh, the paper pads. Um, I used a variety of scraps as well as papers from this Mary Mary collection from Pebbles. Pebbles is one of my favorite paper companies. I love their products. And uh, this is just a beautiful paper stack. It starts out, it's a project pad, so it starts out with these gorgeous stickers. And uh, this I got at Tuesday morning for $9.99 one year, um, I think during the Christmas season. And then it has these um, candy cane stickers. It has cut-aparts, um, which are uh, always so fun for making cards or tags with. And then it has a variety of papers. And I'm just going to do a little flip um, because a lot of the papers I've already used and so you're not going to be able to see them all anyway. But the cover on the front does show the majority of them. It is a beautiful paper stack. Um, so you can see all the papers just by looking at the paper pad itself. Okay, so um, that was the paper stack that I pulled to use. And then I'm going to show you the cards and tag that I created. So using that sweet um, image that's... Uh, called, oh my gosh, I already forgot the name of this one. It's Mary. So this is Mary. Oops, I'm dumping things over you guys in my room. Let me put that on the floor. Sorry about the noise. Uh, so this one is Mary and I colored her up and made a little tag. I need to add a sentiment to this one, but I sure do love um, how cute this image is. She's just so sweet and uh, I just love uh, the little gingers that are in her little pocket. So just really, really cute. And I did put some diamond stickles on there to make it look all sparkly for Christmas. So that is one of the 
tags I made and then I also did a card with this image. So you can see the cards side by side and this uses those pebbles papers, um, a gingham paper as well as a toss print that had gingers on it. And uh, so this just turned out so cute. And uh, there's a little bit of a, a houndstooth paper on here also. So very simple, just simple and sweet. Um, then uh, Al got all colored up. He's wearing a little pair of blue overalls and uh, he's licking his spatula. And I did add glitter to the spatula, to the frosting and to all of his frosting on his cookie. So you can kind of see the glimmer of it. And you can see that open scallop die from Lifestyle Crafts. I did do some embossing with some a snowflake embossing folder on there also. Um, and then here is Lori, and Lori is licking the beaters. Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness, I just love this one. So she has, each, um, each of her hands is holding a beater, and she's licking all the frosting, and she looks so charming. So, and I did back this one with some gingham paper and a little piece of that lace trim from Dollar Tree. So there's that one. And then last but not least, there is Sabrina, and Sabrina has gorgeous frosting hair. I just love that. And uh, she's hugging a ginger, so I put a little tag on here that says Christmas hugs, and I just tied it on with some twine. So those are all of the gingers. You can see all four of them here like this and then this little tag that I did um, also. But they just turned out so cute and I just think Kathy's art is so charming. It just makes me smile every single time. <clears throat> so I just wanted to share that with you today. And um, <clears throat> uh, I hope that you guys will go and visit Peachy Keen's website. Um, and take advantage of uh, these products while they're available. Kathy, thank you so much for sharing these beautiful digi digital stamps with me. Um, you know how much I love my gingers, and I just think the, the artwork that you did here is just so charming and sweet. And I had so much fun playing around with colors on these and, uh, and putting together papers and stuff and creating these fun Christmas cards. So... It'll be fun to add sentiments to these, deciding what I'm gonna use them for. I love that because of the frosting and stuff, you could use these for birthday cards very easily also. So you could definitely do um, you know, some happy birthday sentiments if you wanted on any of these. Um, so just adorable. They could also be Mother's Day cards. There's so many things you could use these images for. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a wonderful Friday, and uh, I will see you guys on Saturday for Saturday Morning Makes. Bye now.